I lived right behind the, the, the church in La Rose, and it was nothing but sugar cane fields in that area. And we played in that, and then in the front area, they had a baseball park. So we did all our sports stuff around that area, you know, growing up. A lot, a lot of open lots and stuff, we'd be playing football. When I was young, I did a little, little boxing. I mean, I was halfway decent at it. Maybe something like that. I don't really remember that much. Probably more football than anything else. I think I kind of, you know, like, like to give my football pretty much more. I, I, I did a little track and stuff like that. Well, we used to play softball. We played softball. That was a big thing that was coming up. It was La Rose. I think it was like the eighth, seventh, eighth grade. My mama didn't want me to play. She was scared I'd get hurt. And uh, of course I played. Dan Danos, I saw LaFouche. And then of course Ralph Perry was there. Uh, Dan was the head coach and then Ralph, and then I think Dan maybe retired the next year or two after and then Ralph took over, I think, if I'm not mistaken. You always want to get a look at the, your opponents before they put the gear on, because everybody looks big with shoulder pads and helmet and all that. So we were out on the field hoping to see some of them, and there come about eight or ten of them from South Lafourche down the eye end of the field. And one little, the little guards doing the, doing the talking, and they were talking about different things because we'd played a couple of teams early in the season that they played as well, you know. So and they were on path to play for the state championship over there. But uh, at the end of the end of the little visit, I think one of the coaches called him in or something. The, a little guard turns around and says, tell him Art. And Art leans forward and I said he had no neck and looked like a linebacker. But he said, first time I touched the ball, I'm gonna run it down your throat. And we were pretty good, I'm telling you. And he walked off and I looked at the captain, a linebacker, and I said, what did he say? He said he's gonna run it down our throat first time he touches it. He ran 65 yards, <laughs> but we caught him. <laughs> But he, he was by far the best running back we, we ever faced, I'm telling you. Tough, hard. <laughs> he, was, he was hard to bring down, you know. When I was a month and six days too old to play in Louisiana, and I, 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 did, I, play, I think I made most valuable in that game, the shrimp bowl, whatever, and uh, so they asked why I was going to college the, the next year. And said that uh, I would not have to lay off, lay off a year you know, because of that, that month and six days. So some of the people around here kind of kind of so-called uh, uh, legal, illegal, I don't know, uh, terminology on that point, but they kind of recruited me here to get, I, mean, I got luck in life there, and they gave, they gave, uh, they gave us a place to stay, and uh, they had, we had to establish, that's the legality of that, a three months of residence here for me to come and play that next year. So that all, that all happened. And I, you know, I was lucky that and that it made me continue, you know, to go to school and, and play ball. And the boy that he replaced, he moved him to a different position. He would already started for two years. He was a two year starter. Art came in, there wasn't no question who the running back was gonna be. So that kid went to the flanker. I met some good people and uh, it was just a good atmosphere. The beach, you know, beautiful beach and everything. You know, it, it was nice, good people here. I've had a bunch of Alabama, you know, had a bunch of them, uh, you know, that wanted, wanted me to go to. And uh, all my buddies, you know, Estee and all that crew, but Martin and all that crew was going there, so that's why I was going, you know, going to Turkey. I had Ole Miss, Alabama, Southern Cal, just a bunch of places, a bunch of small cars. But, but Ole Miss, I mean, LSU was always number one. I never thought of anybody, anybody else. When I played in an all star, high school all star game in Mississippi. I got my knee hurt. So they flew me to, flew me to LSU, they operated me. I stayed out for the first three games. I think we had four games and I played the last game only, you see. And then, and, and then again, I just played bad luck on two years. At the second game, we played against Rice and I got hurt in that game. I missed like eight games. 10-12, rifles himself right through the middle of the line. He's being chased down to the town all the way. Art Cantrell shot through that opening 
And before anybody could react, he went 55 yards for a score. Well, probably we lost it, but uh, when we played Notre Dame at at, at, at the South Bend, Indiana, because you know we always heard of Notre Dame, Notre Dame, all, all growing up or whatever as, as a kid, and we played against them. Of course, we lost. I think it was sweet or nothing, but it was a, it was a good experience. You know, it was just it was a thrilling experience. I, lo I love the coach, whatever, but it was bad management on that point. The first half almost had 100 yards, and I might have ran the ball maybe twice or three times the whole second half. You know, then I mean, why, why do that? And you know, we started passing instead of just running the ball. We run right up that throat, and then they they gave it up the second half. I had, I had like 80 some 90 yards the first half, and then and then after that, the uh, we, quit, we quit running. LSU will try to be straightforward in this situation with Jones at quarterback. He hands off to Cantrell. Cantrell. Roars out over left tackle for about five yards. And it stops hard at about the eight-yard line. And here is wide to the left, Gerald Kegley, and off the line, and shortly tucked to the right, Andy Hamilton. Jones out of the eye, facing now an odd man front, rolls back to the left, gives off the tail back off of Cantrell, and he rips off to the middle, fumbles the ball at the 26, and there's a scramble for it at the 26-yard line. Jimmy Artley says the whistle had blown and Cantrell will get a gain. Well, I was actually thinking about national championship at Orange Bowl because we played against uh, against Nebraska, and again I played bad luck again. I got hurt. I got hurt like the Sega series or something. Bengus is the up man in that eye, as it's a power eye to the left, number 43. Cantrell gets the call and perhaps the yard. It could be a big bowl for LSU, Jim. Uh, Arthur Cantrell, number 24, went off limping. And he's the guy that led in most attempts, broke Jimmy Taylor's record in most attempts, and he's broken Steve Van Buren's record in most yardage. There is Arthur Cantrell, number 24. That right ankle is bothering him. I was, I, I could have went to Miami. They called, uh, Shul and them called me up and they offered me money and I could have went there. But one reason I didn't go there, because they had kick, I was always a first string all my life. Kick, Zonka, Paul Warfield, all of them were there. They had just won the Super Bowl. I know I'm not gonna be playing, I'm gonna be in the bench. And that was out of my, you know, that's, that, that was out of my mind. I, I, I couldn't go do that. So I, I figured going to Canada, it would be easier. But it's not easier, because you have an American ratio, you have like 15 Americans and like uh, 20 Canadians. So you're limited of how many Americans can, can play. So anyway, I, I could have went there and I could have went to Kansas City. I don't want to sit in the bench. I've always been a starter and I had that in my, you know, in my mind that I, I wanted to play. I you know, thought I'd play it, so anyway. The football was different. Three downs, you know, that's all it was. You, if you don't make it your second down, you got you got a punt on the next one. And it was a lot of, pat, the, the fields were wider I caught more passes. I led, I led our team in, in, in receptions. And at LSU, I think I caught three passes. We didn't throw at LSU them days. All we did was run. You know, whatnot. It was just different. It was different. I just didn't like the Canadian ball. I, I kind of like had enough of it. <clears throat> so I said, well, let me you know, just, just stay out for, for a while. Then they formed the, the league. And the coach, Jack Goddard, was my coach in Canada. He was a coach in Birmingham, so he got me to go there. Played a bunch of bunch of uh, uh, 
guys that, that I played against, you know, SEC guys and stuff like that. Matter of fact, Johnny Musso was my fullback. I was a running back. The next year, I signed a contract with uh, uh, Frisco, and I, I just met my wife when I was, you know, young and in love, all that type of stuff. Wasn't thinking about, you know, all, you know what I was thinking about. I, I didn't get in the best shape. I was always in the best shape when I went to a camp or something. I was always in good, tip-top shape, and I went over there and probably the worst shape. And I had it mentally. I just wasn't. I just wasn't into it, so I kind of, I went there, I stayed there for a few days, and I just, I just quit. I mean, you know, I didn't, I didn't do as good as I wanted to do in some things, but, you know, I've had a good life, you know, I was fortunate in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm.